Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Battle Me is about Mari coming back at you with another video. Now, in this video, I'm going to be explaining why Toriyama basically says that Super Saiyan 4 is stronger than Super Saiyan God. I mean, the proof is in the pudding, and it's all in the Broly movie. Now, we all know that Saiyans originally, all their potential was in their tails and their Uzaru power. I mean, this was a given. If you're an OG fan, you know this. The Uzaru power was always the main source of a Saiyan's potential. Now, when Broly was born, he wasn't said to be the quote-unquote legendary Super Saiyan in the new movie, in the Dragon Ball Super timeline. He's just a Saiyan that was born with a lot of potential. He was stronger than Vegeta. He had a higher power level than Vegeta originally. And the special thing about Broly is that he's able to adapt and learn as he's fighting. And he was able to control and tap into his Uzaru power without his tail. And we all saw how well that went for Super Saiyan God Goku. Now this is Broly controlling the normal Uzaru power that Saiyans are born with. He was able to tap into that power without his tail. Now we've seen what happened with GT Goku. He was able to tap into the power of the golden Uzaru. Now it was explained in GT that Vegeta had never achieved golden Uzaru because he wasn't on that level. Despite the fact that he had the rationality, his Uzaru rationality controlled since before he even got to Earth, he didn't have enough training. But Goku was able to tap into that power because he was strong enough and control it to achieve Super Saiyan 4, which is the highest potential of a Saiyan. Now, Broly with the normal Uzaru power was already trashing Super Saiyan God Goku. He was already trashing him. Then he went Super Saiyan with that Uzaru power, which is, you know, why it was still green and it had that greenish power because that's how it was when he tapped into his Uzaru power. That was a color. It was like a green. He went Super Saiyan with that. Now, just imagine if Broly had the power of Golden Uzaru and went and went Super Saiyan 4. This is Toriyama saying that Uzaru, the full potential of the Uzaru, is much greater than God Key. The potential is just higher. This is a nod to, to GT and what they did. A Saiyan's true potential is in his tail, the tail which gives the power of Uzaru. Broly was special and able to tap and keep it, keep that Uzaru power without his tail. That was what was special about Broly, what made him stand out as a Saiyan above Goku and Vegeta. And I can definitely appreciate that from Toriyama. I mean, that was that was a good idea. It was smart. It's wrapping the heritage of the Saiyans back into the story. And that was a good idea. I, I really did like that about the new Broly. It was it was cool. It made that Broly unique and stand out differently from the rest of the Saiyans. And that was pretty cool. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I know there's going to be fanboys that still deny it. They're still going to hate. They're going to look past it even though the proof is right there. They're still not going to admit it. And I've learned to accept that, which is why... When people say debate me, it's like, why debate you? You ignore facts. What's the point? You, they, Fanboys will never admit defeat. They'll never admit that they're wrong. So let me know what y'all think about that in the comments section. If you agree or disagree, which I know fanboys will, they'll disagree with it. Because they hate the fact that Super Saiyan 4 is the mightiest transformation of a Saiyan. Let me know what y'all think, and I'll see you on the next video. All right. Middle finger to the fanboys.